Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing The Sims 4. It is finally here. I've been editing it for so long. I've been creating different Sims, changing the dynamic of the Sims vs. Sausageverse. I do apologise. This intro doesn't actually match the rest of the video. I'm wearing a different shirt. I have a shorter moustache. No, a longer moustache and then whatever. I don't know. It's not, it doesn't match because unfortunately I made a bit of an error. I lost the uh, thingy and now it's fine, so don't worry about it, just watch the rest of the video and say hello to your favourite star. Gary Sausage is here! Look at that moustache! Gary Sausage, welcome to The Sims, my friend! I had to download that moustache because unfortunately, <laughs> that moustache is not in the game. And there's the closest representation we can get of the Sausage Man, but there he is, watching his telly box as you've just seen. This is Gary Sausage's humble abode. So Gary Sausage is currently living in a uh, household, a shared household, if you will, and this is his dorm. Is this is his domicile, and this is his area. That's a lot of this is his, but this is his area. And what do you think? Gary Sausage is living in the basement. It's not ideal, but it'll do. As you can see, nice shot of the settee, of the wall decorations, the telly. And then, of course, he's got his single bed, some posters over there, some Tetris effort thing. He's got a desk, but no PC yet, but small steps, small steps, guys. We'll get there. Gary hasn't got all the money in the world. Gary is a simple man. He lives well, does a decent janitor's job, but he has decided to move on to pastures new and move on to something new. He hasn't got a job yet, he's currently unemployed, but the times are coming, and you can help me make that decision as we go along the way. But Gary's not alone, as I've mentioned. Gary has many other members in the household, as you've probably seen. This is Maverick Jackson Pose, the bodybuilder, the gym goer, and the ladies' man. That is Maverick Jackson Pose, you can see in his bedroom. It's quite small, it's quite quaint. Bijou is the term I would use. Similar poster to Gary down there. Of course, he has many trophies from all the time he's won bodybuilding championships. Just like myself, obviously. <laughs> So next I would like to introduce to you Chode Veronica. This is obviously a um, interesting character that I decided to chuck in. Helped with one of my friends, Alan. And uh, yeah, this is her little room. She's kind of young but old at the same time. I don't know much to say about her. I mean, she's a, she's a bit of a wild one as she's already off. So this is Juan King as he runs around gallivantly into the rain. He appears to be running in for the coffee machine, because that man is all he really thinks about. But that, my friends, is Juan King. Um, say that wrong, and we're probably going to get demonetized. As if I got monetized anyway. <laughs> Another member of our household is the man himself, Jim Python. Jim Python is here in his bedroom. He's very red. It's very music-like. He's got spotlights in the wall. He's got his beautiful sims, and he's got, he's got his computer. Now, Jim Python is the owner of a very swanky bar around the corner called Blackadder. I will show you this very, very soon, but I'm just giving you the rundown of who these people are. Interesting character. Funky dress and very, very thick. Dummy thick. I would like to introduce another member of the household. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Alexandra Slaughter. Her father and mother disappeared a long time ago, and she's had a grudge on people ever since. She is as beautiful as she is shady. This lady is quite the character. Well, let me tell you, this lady has some secrets, and she will have her hand in your pocket. And so we become to one of our final household members, the human. Last human of the household. We have a pooch, yeah. We have a pooch. Stay around for the pooch. Hunk alone, ladies and gentlemen. The man who is napping on his bed, very, very lazily, may I add. He's lazy, he's a loner, and he doesn't wash. Let me introduce you, Hunk alone. He inherited this house from his mother and father quite a long time ago and has never left the attic or the top of the house, the third floor, if you will. I don't know, I'm just trying to ad lib here. He has a toilet and a sink in his bedroom. The carpet looks grummy as and grimy as hell, and he's got boxes everywhere. Oh, and finally, we found him. It took me a while to find him because he's quite old, he's a little whippet. Let me introduce to you little Wilson. He's, as I say, he's a little whippet, and he's. Getting old now. Apart from Gary, he's the only person in that household I have any sympathy for. Look at him, he's so beautiful. He's a little diamond. I get really sidetracked very, very easily when I see uh, a pooch or a cat. <laughs> and currently the dog's feeling uncomfortable for some reason. 
But in Sims 4, you don't find out what. And I guess because the owner just doesn't really care because he's always asleep. <laughs> That's like the third time I've seen him in this episode, asleep. Oh, look at, look at Gary mingling. Gary mixing in with them all. So here in the beautiful world of Bridlington Bay, the Black Adder. Here, just across from the Bridlington Port Hospital, and not far from the Pupperstone Park, is where you'll find Black Adder. It's filthy, it's grody, but it's a chef's kitchen and owned by Jim Python. And here it is. This is Black Adder, bar and restaurant owned by Jim Python. And where the hell is Jim going? Don't tell me. He's going for a kip, isn't he? Oh, oh, it always goes for a kip. This guy. Yeah, Gary can request a table, actually. He's feeling rather peckish. So here is our maitre d', our concierge, if you will. Has Gary got a seat? Oh, Gary's sitting outside. I love it. Is he going to have a sit with him? Yeah, why not? Oh, he's ordering. He's ordering from his own restaurant. Fair enough, I guess. So let me show you the restaurant anyway. So here we have the main main area. Lots of sitting areas. Two bars, because why not? Television in the background for all your football and uh, basketball and loads of GP. What do you think? Answers in the comments below. What do you think? Do you reckon you make a better bar than that? I'm guessing you can, because it's only a little small swanky bar. Didn't want to spend too much on it. Is he asleep again? Oh, that's just rude. That is so rude. Poor old Gary Sausage waiting to be fed. And when I tried this the other day, I hired Clyde Crockett, and he's shit. <laughs> he's absolutely awful. He's a terrible cook. He will learn, and he will get better. But he's not great. I'll be honest with you. I mean, look at that. The restaurant chef, Clyde Crockett, needs more training to cook everything on the menu. Well, to avoid poor quality meals, choose lower difficulty foods and drinks. What are the chances of that? I just literally mentioned how shite he was. And he's asleep again. Come on, Jim. I'll tell you what, that tash is just absolutely mesmerising. Look, I could be like a person... Looking inside, checking out the man with the moustache. God, he's beautiful. Oh, who's are these? These are pissed. I wish this place had more friendly service. Well, where's Jim? He's still asleep. Right in the middle. Can you imagine how, how disgusting that would be? Gordon Ramsay would have a field day if he seen the owner doing that. What a shame. Oh, look, look at that. Tell you what, put that in your inventory. You did well there, mate. <laughs> Choose up to one dish and one drink per sim. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Gary Sausage looks like a sparkling water man. Because who the hell doesn't like sparkling water? I'm looking forward to seeing Gary uh, munch on his grub. Oh, he looks really sad. What? What's up, Jim? Oh, the bottom lip quivered and everything. <laughs> oh, now there. Who's not my bin over? Christ almighty, get over. Th Why is he asleep again? This guy just lives on that. Oh, look at that. Look at that sparkling water. Look at Gary. Yes. Oh, he's smelling the aroma. What's the quality like of that food? Poor. Excellent. Great. Oh, he's finished. He wants the bill. Go and eat up, pal. We can go. Oh my god, he fell asleep. He fell asleep again. Wake up, eat your tea, and get home. Bloody hell, that was one bite. <laughs> he one bite it. Oh my god. That's it, Gary. On your way home, pal. We're almost there now. Whoa, who's that fox? Go over there and say hello, Gary. Go no, Gary. Get over there and say hello, Gary. No, Gary. Say hello to the woman. That's it, Gary. Go and say hello. Get in there, son. You're right. Well, she seems quite friendly. Hello. Bright in the day. Oh, Gary's an absolute dish, isn't he? Look at that tash. And she ran away. <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> what a day for Gary Sausage. He's just so, so cool, isn't he? He's got swagger for days. And he's going to cuddle the dog. It, can, what can you not love about this man? And Jude is... Oh, God, if we turn the camera the wrong way, we're going to see... Oh, that's scared. Like, so uh, what do we think, anyway, about the house that I made? This was actually already in the game. Edited it up. So I would like to say that is a brief look of The Sims 4 with Gary Sausage at the helm. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have loved every second of this. Playing this, recording this video, uh, building, creating The Sims, everything about this. So let me know what you want to see next. Or if you want me just to take over and I'll just create stories and stuff. This first one was just basically a bog standard one. Me to show you guys what's going to happen. Because I felt like I kept you in the dark a little bit since the wide sausage walking announcement. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching as always. It's been a pleasure to do a video for you as always. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Hopefully not too soon. I'll do my best to bring it as soon as I can. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.